Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, we talked about, you know, the fact that WordPad was removed and deprecated and then removed from Windows. And a lot of people didn't like that because it was, you know, first, it didn't really, you know, have any issues to keep it there. It was not a problem. And some people would use it for a basic, you know, word processing. And um, now uh, it's interesting because it's almost as if Microsoft wants to turn Notepad into a uh, word processing. If you look at the latest versions of the Notepad that are on your PCs now, there's actually some added formatting now. So you have different fonts that are available and you have different options which were not uh, there before. So you have the formatting of the place. You can, have, of course, have bold, italic, and all of that. And there's added stuff all the time. You can even, um, you know, bullet, bulleted lists, numbered lists. Uh, slowly, they're kind of transforming this into a kind of a word pad, basically. Uh, it will even have the possibility to save your different text as um, the um, soon as in a rich text format, which was something that we didn't have in the notepad and was available only in the WordPad. So even that will be added at some point. So it seems that they're really, really working into changing this into a, uh, a WordPad, basically. Uh, as somebody was saying in the comments, for those that know who Mary Jo Foley is, I'm not sure she must be that happy that they're fiddling with Notepad to this point. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is what slowly Notepad is becoming. It's getting more and more options. Uh, and so there's all sorts of things. There's time, date, posting, all sorts of things. Uh, this is very, very interesting uh, that they're working so hard and making this better. Um, of course, if you're to remove the WordPad, that means that it's a good idea to, I guess, uh, add the functionalities to the Notepad so that a basic um, a basic um, word processing would be possible with the Notepad also. But uh, still, kind of interesting to see that uh, they're fiddling around with the Notepad a lot. So if you don't see these options yet, remember that the Notepad updates through the Microsoft Store. So what you do is you go to the Microsoft Store, click on the Downloads, click Check Updates to make sure that you have the Notepad updates. Uh, mine was updated, uh, I think it's last week, there was an update. So, uh, and if you look at uh, Notepad, you can go into the uh, little gear icon and check out the uh, version number, which is uh, here, 11.2504.62.0. So uh, make sure that you update to the latest. Um, pretty much everybody should have this new version of the Notepad now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.